Hey, Dental Nachos crew, it is Paul, Dr. Nacho, and we have a special treat for you. Two years ago, I was introduced to a media coach, video, co video coach, speaker coach. I've been speaking my entire life. And this person said to me, we're going to meet. And I said, okay, when should I call you? He said, we're not going to do a phone call. We're going to meet on Zoom. And I had never heard of Zoom. So I figured out how to get on Zoom. And I got to talk to the amazing Terry Brock, who has helped me for the past two years in so many ways be a better dad, be a better dentist, be a better Dr. Nacho, just be a better human being by being able to present, connect, speak, and especially use the power of video. And right now, during this pandemic, oftentimes video is the only thing we have to truly connect with people. People can be our patients, people can be our team members. If you follow Dental Nachos or me, you know that I'm making multiple videos a day for all different reasons. I love using this. You can repurpose it. You can train your team. You can connect with your patients, say we're here for you. So I want to introduce to you world famous speaker, my friend, amazing human being, Terry Brock. Paul, oh, thank you very much. It's great to be with you today. And by the way, you've been doing incredible work with video. Thanks, Terry. Putting together, really applaud the efforts you have. And for those of you joining us, welcome aboard. We're going to be talking about something that is so exciting. It's changing our world literally. A few months ago, yeah, we were using video. It was nice. It was good. Look where we are today. In this crazy world of 2020, we're seeing that we've got video now being used all the time and it's really doing a lot. I love what uh, Mom Pink's saying, video rocks. Yes, it does. <laughs> Certainly is rocking right now. And if you know how to use it and the little inside tricks, then you're gonna be good. And here's the other thing, what it what was doing before when we used Zoom, Paul, you'll remember this, we used Zoom, we, we, it was a big deal to be able to share your screen. Oh, wow, <laughs> you know, that was something. Well, how December 2019 is that? You know, today it's a different world and we have changed monumentally in just a few months. But what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna talk about that from a dentisting point of view, to use Paul's word, dentisting, a uh, word that we like. And we're gonna look at that using some other things that are available. The power of video you, now. I'll let you run the show, Terry, but I'll be here. Just get me if you need me. I'll be back here making the nachos. Sounds good, Paul. Thank you very much, sir. And so we're going to be talking about the power of video to connect with people, patients, and others during a pandemic. We're going to talk about how that happens and what can be done. I'm going to be using uh, video, obviously, myself. And if you have questions about how did you do that or what do you mean about this or, hey, I have a little different opinion, da 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 we want to hear from you. You'll see we've got the chat there, and we want you to feel very comfortable to jump on the chat, type it in. We'll be monitoring that. And I'll pause every so often to see what's going on as we're here for uh, this, uh, this whole presentation. So we're going to be doing that. And by the way, just so you'll know, even behind the scenes, I'm opening the curtain just a little bit. I'm using this on my iPad so I can flip over there. And then also I can put me on the screen as well. One of the nice things about using video today is we can have something that keeps your attention a little bit more by having me on the screen there. So we're going to be looking at that. And by the way, as we're going through this, I would encourage you to stand by, take screenshots and pics of key slides. We're going to make these slides available to you afterwards for those that would like that. Uh, you will have it, but if you want to, I find often when I'm in a webinar, something like that, it really helps to make sure that I can grab something real quick. Just have your cell phone standing by and you'll be able to jump in there and work with it. Well, today we are in a crazy world 2020. <laughs> it is something that is really changed. We've never seen anything like this in our lifetimes. We've seen things uh, happen throughout history that are equal, but in the midst of it, it's kind of difficult. And there's a lot of confusion going on out there right now. And when we look at it, though, there are a lot of good opportunities that are available for dental professionals today. As we look at what's available, you have an opportunity right now to communicate via vi video to existing and prospective patients. They are watching video today. They're open to it and they want to hear from you. And here's a real important point. Better video communication and connection with team members. Many dentists now operating from a place where they're not going into the office. What they're doing is having to have meetings via Zoom. And we've even uh, now talked about Zoom meetings, how people sometimes want to stay away from them. We're going to give you today some of the ideas and some of the abilities that you can use and the tricks that we've used with dental nachos to be able to make sure that you get uh, just the right thing and it comes across in a professional way. And then here's the most important, to be able to connect with people more and build relationships. It's really about relationships. That's what business is. 
I do a lot of work in many different areas, and I find that the more we have strong relationships, the better off we are. And so we're going to be uh, using that. Well, as we get started, one of the things I want you to do is to let us know what you're doing with video right now, the kinds of things you're doing. If you're using video, just in the chat, type the word yes. Type the word yes if you're using video in anything with Zoom or maybe with Skype, Facebook Live or something else. Let us know. And if you're not, put in a no. Then we'll get a chance to see. So we'll look forward to seeing from you and the, the participants that are here with us right now. Just put in there a yes or a no, and we'll take a look at that as we move forward with this. So right now, one of the things that uh, we've seen now as well as before is people have a fear of going to the dentist. And that fear is real. And now it's compounded because of the pandemic. We're seeing that people are going, wait, I don't know if I want to go to the dentist's office. And sometimes they can't. And so there's a lot of fear out there. And using video today can help you because video builds that relationship. It builds a bond. Think about it for a moment. Many of you have been able to see Paul Goodman, Dr. Nacho, as we affectionately call him. He is out there on video all the time. Prolific, I think would be an understatement, which is always, and that is good because it builds that recognition, it builds the rapport, and it builds those connections that are really important. Those kinds of uh, connections are what really life is about, and dentists now have the opportunity to do that. Now, there's some old beliefs that were out there that people thought, oh yeah, this is the way it is, and those are not uh, necessarily it's something that's going to serve you well. We'll take a look at some of those as we see. A lot of people will say, well, video is too hard. Oh my, it's just too hard. I can't use it. It's something that I won't be able to do. And it's too expensive. Uh, some of the old beliefs that are there. And here's one. I look terrible on video. Raise your hand if you think you <laughs> can relate to that. Yes, indeed. We're looking out at you. But uh, you can do that. Well, I can stand here and let you know that all of those are profoundly wrong. Because what we can do today is with the right tools and done the right way, you can take video and build those relationships and do a lot. Matter of fact, one of the things we're going to do, stay with us, because toward the end of this event, when we're here together, I'm going to list something that could really help you enormously in your life when you're making presentations. Five mistakes that people make with video and what to do instead. So instead of you dropping your uh, ice cream code there like that, you'll be able to uh, do it the right way. Oh, as a matter of fact, to update that for dental nachos, we'll give you some uh, nacho chips here with my favorite topping, guacamole. And so we'll have some of that uh, in there. And uh, by the way, Paul likes to ask this a lot. What is your favorite topping? Well, in the chat, let us know. We're going to see what uh, is there. Guacamole, salsa, or maybe something else. What is your favorite nacho topping? Just pop that into the chat and we'll get a chance to see what's there. But I kind of like that guacamole and I'm not a nutritionist, but the nutritionist tell us there's some good uh, benefits in that too. But anyway, we're going to talk about that. So stick around here till the uh, end of this program. I'm going to be giving those five. That can be worth the whole thing in once. We want to uh, let you know what you can do today and what you're going to get in this. You're going to get an objective view of the equipment that you need. Often people say, well, what webcam do I need? What, uh, what do I need for a microphone? What kind of uh, other settings do I need? How do I come across well? We're going to look at important considerations for lighting, what you need to do and know, important considerations for designing where you're going to operate, where you're going to actually do that. And this will be very helpful. And how to connect professionally and conversationally on video. This is one of the most important. When you can connect on video with people, you're opening up literally a world of possibilities. And today, it's not just a good idea, it's essential. And most important, answers to your video questions. If you've got a question, you think, I've always wondered about da 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 I wanna ask uh, Terry, how do I do this? How do I do that? By all means, put that in the chat at, at any time. And what we'll do is we're gonna allow some times to step back and look at those. We've got a team of wonderful dental nacho folks out there that are monitoring this. Any questions that you have, we will be there and we wanna give you some answers to help you out on that. So you might be asking, okay, well, who is this guy with a really good haircut and what can he do for me? Well, I'll tell you a little bit about my background, what I've done. I've helped uh, thousands of people over the years. I've been privileged to do that in 44 countries and counting, although this year, only in the United States uh, physically, but doing by video many other places as well. And I'm a communicator. 
I write and I talk. And so I get a chance to get out as a professional speaker and speak to people in many different places. One of those is with Skype, where I was their chief enterprise blogger. They asked me to come on and help them out. Wonderful people there. Great company and I enjoyed that enormously. Also worked with AT&T as their editor in chief for their largest blog, about 100, uh, 150 geniuses in uh, technology and sales and other areas reporting to me, talking about areas and we use blogs and video to communicate our message to the world. And what we are doing now at Dental Nachos and others that we're working with, we get a chance to see that. Just recently, I was able to work with Ace as their chief, or Ace Hardware as their chief retail advisor and being a media coach for them as well. And I'm particularly proud of working with Dental Nachos and Dr. Paul Goodman, getting a chance to really in the dental world make some big differences, be able to use the video as we should and now we're glad we got started a few years ago with this because we were using a tool that not many people had heard of called Zoom. And now it's a verb. You know it's popular when it becomes a verb. So let's find out how can video help you. It's going to help you as a dentist or as someone who is dentisting. We like to use that term, meaning that you're working supporting the dental profession. As someone who is uh, working on your own, maybe in a different area, I'm not a dentist myself, but I consider myself being someone who dentist things, if I can make up another word there, but building those one-on-one -on -one connections with patients and with others. Virtual team meetings. There are certain steps you can take to make those work well. We're gonna talk about those. And with video, you're available 24 seven on screen, of course, with video. This way people are getting the information from you and connecting while you're sleeping which we all need to do, even dentists need to do that. And developing your standard operating procedures, the SOPs for video, anyone, anywhere. We're doing that here at Dental Nachos. Uh, we're putting these together. Amanda has been putting a lot of those together. I know that Ariel, Brandon, and Jill have been putting these together, doing some really good work. Mary's been working on this, brilliant. Putting ideas together, we get an idea, we're sending videos now regularly. When we got started, it was a little bit uh, scary. Like, oh, I don't want to be on video. I don't want to do this. Or am I doing it right? But it's like with anything, the more you do it with the right instruction, with the right help and saying, wait a minute, what do I do about this? What do I do with that? Oh, you do it this way. Then you can do it. So I want you to think about how you can do that. Here's another one I like to call the GTMU videos. Good to meet you. Yeah, I know it's the letter U. Good to meet you videos. And you know, when you see someone, it's nice to do that. I'm going to show you a tool that can literally revolutionize the way that you do it. It's a free tool. We're using it here at Dental Nachos and uh, you're, you're gonna love it. Also great for special occasions. Sending someone a quick birthday greeting, I find always is a nice thing or a special congratulations or a special touch that you need to send them with video. This is a good way to do it. And there's some tools that are extraordinarily easy and simple to use. But here's the most important. Circle this one and red flag it. Being more human. Video is as close as we can get to being there in person. And now the coronavirus, COVID-19, has really forcibly shown us that we can't always get together in person, but we can use video. There's some tricks, there's some tools, some techniques that can help you to enhance that. And there's some things you can do to stay away from. We're going to talk about those as well. And a matter of fact, here's what is being done with real live dentists. We'll look here at Paul's practice, Pennington Dental Associates. Notice what they've got here. All this regular video information, regular information on what they do at the dentist's office, but a video with a patient testimonial. I know many are doing that right now. Really good thing to do, but it personalizes it and makes it more well, here's that word again, human. Very nice. There's Paul with a patient. See, he's a human being. He's there. People see that and will go, hey, I like these folks. And when they can see a video, there's a lot of good that comes from that. And matter of fact, Paul, you and I have talked about that, some of the things you're doing. If you're there, uh, I wanted to talk with you just a little bit about the kinds of things and uh, what you're doing, how video has helped you and what you're using with it, where you've seen it be successful to help dentists become more human. I mean, it's such a good point. I mean, one of my favorite uh, sayings is do the work while you're doing the work. So uh, on my Dental Notches YouTube page, which we can talk about later, I can take one video, not 60 to 90 second video, have, asking a patient to share their story about a dental implant case. I can use it as a patient testimony on my website. I can use it on my Facebook page. I can also use it as a training tool for my team. 
And then most importantly, people are not sure if you said, hey, you know, I'm going to take uh, my training is $10,000 and people are not sure if they want to take it. You can say, well, here's a video of one of my clients sharing how they were not sure if they wanted to spend $10,000 on Terry Brock's training. So I say, here's a video of someone who looks just like you in the same life situation as you, who is just as concerned just as nervous, wasn't sure, and they're happy that they did this implant case. So yeah. one 60 to 90 second video can bring you millions of dollars of production, but more importantly, make patients and your team happier. Yeah, I think that's the key. It's making the patients happier. It's getting the message across in a really good way. And video, I like the way you say 60 to 90 seconds. Why do you find 60 to 90 seconds works better than say a 30 minute to an hour video? I mean, oftentimes when you're utilizing these pieces of content and you're showing them, they are like previews that you want to start a beginning, middle, and end short story so people can move forward. I'm a big fan of momentum. And a lot of times you only have this one chance. So in that operatory where you saw me with the patient, if another patient comes in, I can show the video of a previous patient in that moment. But mm -hmm. people's time, attention span, 60 to 90 seconds, I find, is a good time frame. Yeah, I have to agree with you strongly. We're seeing that. So those are very, very important considerations. Paul, we're, again, thank you for what you're sure. doing and how you're doing it and uh, for coming on the screen here and sharing that. I think that's very important. So listen to what Paul said. That's very important that you've got those videos of real people and they say, oh yeah, this person's just like me. I can see that they were concerned about this type of implant or this kind of bridge or this crown or whatever we're going to do. This is the kind of thing that you can share. It's just one example. The most important thing is by using video, people get a chance to see you. They see where you are and they see, hey, this is a real person there getting real work done and they're just like me. And so I think I'm going to go ahead and do it. Now, by the way, here's another dentist that we've worked with who is a wonderful dentist doing a lot with cosmetic, Dr. Desiree Yasmin out in California. And hello there, Dr. Yasmin. Hope you're doing well. And she uses video and a lot of pictures. I know she's using Instagram. These kind of connections make it more human. They make it much more connection and something that people can relate to. And that's really what you want to do in life as well as as a dentist. And so those types of issues, I think, are extraordinarily important. And you want to look at that. Well, what I want to do right now, we're getting up to a point where I want to see if there's any messages that have come through in our chat session. We've got uh, Amanda, Ariel, Brandon standing on the backgrounds looking at that. Any uh, chat messages or any questions that might have come through or something that uh, you would want to come on screen and talk to us about, just uh, let me know on that. I know that uh, the two, uh, those of you that are on the Dental Nachos team are back there scrambling. If there is any, just let me know. I'll pause for a moment here. And it sounds like there's not, okay. And dental people need time to get warmed up, Terry. So they're, they're practicing, they're, re they're getting ready to ask a question. They're stretching out there. So I know- That's all right, you know, that stretching that. is important. <laughs> now, now's the time to ask an expert along this way over the next 45 minutes, anything, that, what can you do to move forward with momentum? Start taking a video and sometimes dental, not, dental dentisting friends, it could just be a training video for your team or an explanation of why we take temperatures before people come into the office. So uh, I, they're stretching, Terry. I know they're gonna have some questions coming up. Yeah, thank you, Paul. Matter of fact, that's one thing that's very important. I find that because dental offices have changed in the last few months, and many situations have changed, it would be good for a, say, a patient that has been coming regularly to see a video that says, here's how our office has changed. We're doing this at the door. We're taking a temperature and show that happening. You can do this quickly with a smartphone. Shoot a video that way. It doesn't have to be anything real expensive. Show how you're separating the chairs in the waiting room, things like that. I experienced that myself when I had a crown fall off just a couple of weeks ago, emergency. My dentist, who's absolutely wonderful here in Orlando, I got a chance to go see uh, the dentist and I saw what was happening there. And I thought, oh, that was really nice the way they uh, took care of everything. And I thought, okay, to tweak it and make it even better, it would be nice to have a video that says, now when you're coming, this is gonna be a little bit different. And that would be uh, very, very good to have. And so a lot of times things are gonna be different in different professions. Because I know people are watching this, not just dentists, but others in different professions. Think about how your profession is impacted by the virus and how you can communicate that to help people feel even better. Now, here's some of the types of dentist uh, videos that you might want to consider in dentists. Get to know the dentist. Dentist on screen saying, hi, I'm Terry and I do this and I decided to go into dental school because of this, this, and this. Those types of uh, videos help us to, again, know someone as a human being. Letting people know why you chose to be a dentist, what you wanted to do, and then tour of the office. 
This is particularly important during COVID-19 that I'll know I'm gonna be safe when I go there. I'm concerned about that and I don't know what I don't know. A video helps to clear that up. Done, doesn't, again, doesn't have to be super professional, does not have to cost a lot of money. Sometimes if all you have is a smartphone, with the smartphones today, and I'd recommend get a good microphone with that, you can show what's going on, show someone a walk through around the office. And here's something real important, those FAQs, frequently asked questions for dentisting. What people are gonna ask, you've heard these questions over and over and over. So that's what Paul, by the way, has done. Paul Goodman gets all the common questions about, yeah, but do you take insurance, et cetera? And he's got videos that answer that very clearly in a fun way and solves the problem. People get a chance to do that. What about this? Or how long is this crown gonna stay in there? He can have videos and have conversations like that to make sure that it's set. But let me ask you a question. What if I could connect, you, you could connect with people safely in a very pleasant way, answering their questions, building rapport, all for no additional out-of-pocket cost? Would that be something you're interested in? Well. This exists. This is where you want to write this down if you're not doing it already. There's a tool out there called Loom at loom.com or use loom.com USC. They have a free product that many at Dental Nachos are using. I used their free product for a long time. Then I upgraded to their $100 a year pro, a little bit less than $100 a year for their pro version. And it gives you the ability to create videos of someone and create an email video that can then be sent as part of uh, that email. It's just an attachment. And it's kind of like a YouTube link. You know, if you wanted to send me a YouTube video, what you would do is you would uh, send the link. You wouldn't download the video necessarily and then try to send the whole thing because usually that wouldn't go through email anyway. What you would do is you'd say, here's a link for a video I want you to see. And Loom gives you the ability to do that. I know many people are using that, many dentists now. If you're not using that, I would encourage you. Matter of fact, why don't you do this? If you are using Loom, just in the chat, type Loom space yes, or if you're not, Loom space no. We're always looking for what people are using, what they're not using, and it's something that we highly recommend. We have ways that we show people how to do that, and we're gonna give you some opportunities to learn how to use tools like Loom, like Zoom that we're doing, uh, to take it up to another level and go even higher, be able to see it. Matter of fact, one of the things I've done is I create a lot of Loom videos myself, and it gives you a little page so I can go back and see these very easily and say, oh, okay, there's the video that I sent to so-and-so on this day. Here's the one I did on this topic, et cetera. Loom is really good, and I would encourage you, if you're not using it right now, to uh, jump in there. And if you've got questions on how to do it, something that we're using a lot here at Dental Nachos, we'd be happy to talk to you about that as well. Here's another thing you can do. And I want uh, each of you to think about this. Those, if you're a dentist, you might think about something like I'm doing here. I have friends that I interview when they have a book. As a professional speaker myself and a communicator, I have a lot of friends that are writing books. When someone writes a book, I love to get their book, read that book, and then go back and ask them questions, particularly that would be useful to my audience people that are watching my videos, that are watching my uh, programs that I put out and listening to my podcast and those types of things. I would encourage you to think about that as well. So for instance, you might know someone who's an expert in a particular area. You could interview that person and be able to talk about some other areas, some other issues and how that affects them. We've done that successfully here at uh, dental nachos. Jill has done that in her work as a physical therapist. She has her doctorate in that and she knows a lot of people. She's been able to step in, talk with them and give us some really good information, asking questions I wouldn't think of, but she asked them. I go, oh, that is a good one. And good. We know that Mary, Dr. Mrs. Nacho, affectionately called Mrs. Nacho, she does a lot of that with her background and her expertise in education and connection, communication, how to train, how to teach. She does a beautiful job with that. And so think about how you can do something like that as well. And Zoom. Zoom is a tool that we would encourage you to look into. As a matter of fact, kind of curious again of the people that are using Zoom now. If you're using Zoom, would you do us a favor, just as we get some information here, type that in there of Zoom space yes, or Zoom space no, or maybe not yet, or Zoom space whatever you might want to put in there, because we know there's a lot of people that are using it right now, and sometimes they use it a little bit better than other times and say, well, we're not doing as much with it, or we'd like to do more, and if you have a question about that, let us know. 
there's a lot of uh, good things there. And by the way, if you're using Zoom, let me make sure you, you hear this. There's a new version out, new as of a couple of weeks ago, version 5.2. You definitely want to look into that. Version 5.2 gives you the ability to do a lot of extra features that are really nice. One of the things you can do is Zoom has its own version of doing what I'm doing here. I'm showing you behind the scenes, actually, as I take my video and I put it here and you see how I'm moving around. You can now do that with slides, PowerPoint or keynote slides and be able to do that in a little different format, but within Zoom. It also gives you the ability to have some fun with it. Uh, I like to say kids of all ages will like the ability to put the little fun things on and to play with it and to be able to have different kinds of presentation backgrounds. They call them filters and those filters are good. They also put some noise canceling features in. So if you might have say a noise in the background with fire trucks going by, because many of us operating from home are facing that, or children that might be playing or dogs that might be barking, you can mute or at least mitigate some of those sounds and be able to use them with the new version. Look into that and see what's available. Take a look at the kind of things that are available. And here's what I would like you to think about. This is an, uh, well, a quote that I like, and it does uh, something that's real nice. Learn what is possible, then let your imagination soar. By the way, who was it that said that? It was my favorite philosopher, Terry Brock, me. <laughs> and uh, I think what I want you to do is think about that. Learn what's possible out there. There's lots of tools like Zoom, like Loom and others. There's lots of things that are available with video and they might look a little confusing at first, but step back from the confusion, from the being overwhelmed and instead think, okay, hold on. I don't know that yet, but I'm going to learn about that. I'm going to see what's possible. And wait a minute, if we can do that, what if we did this? Or what if we took this and put it over with that? I want you to think about that. Use your imagination. Find out what's possible and then let your imagination soar. As you do that, you're going to find that you're going to be able to reach out and start learning new opportunities and see them and, hey, have a lot of fun with it too. So now here's a way that you can look great on video. I want to talk with you about this, how you can look really, really good on video. There's some keys that are uh, going to help you. But before we do that, as I promised, I want to share with you some five mistakes that people do in video and what not to do. Matter of fact, I found this picture. Doesn't that guy look really bad? Yeah, he's got a mask on and all that. I wanted to find that and uh, put it out there. But there's several things that people do that you just want to avoid. One of the things to start with has really everything to do with video and nothing to do with all the tactics. They have no strategy. Know why you're using video. What are you trying to accomplish? What is the goal? I love the way that uh, Stephen Covey said it in his book of Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, he said, begin with the end in mind. Where do you want to be? Have your strategy. Then once you've got that, you think, okay, I want to do this. I want to connect with patients and let them know our office is in good shape. I want them to know that we're taking all the steps necessary so that they're going to be safe when they come to see us. We're going to do whatever. This is what we're doing, et cetera. Okay, video is a tool. Okay, now we can start formulating our tactics. And you make sure that you have the camera positioned properly because when you don't do that, it makes a world of difference. Like for instance, I'm gonna do something right now. I'm taking my little webcam right here and I'm gonna move it over here, something like that. Many people will do that. Obviously this is wrong and you can't even see me. You can see my mouth moving or so, or here's something that people do. Watch this. They're, look, they're talking to you and they're talking like this all the time. How do you feel? Think about it. While I'm talking right now and I'm looking over here versus when I look here, looking directly into that webcam makes all the difference in the world. Now that's a little bit difficult sometimes with Zoom because, hey, here's what's happening. You know what I'm talking about. If you're in Zoom, if you've done Zoom uh, meetings and you've had a lot of people on the screen, you know what's happening. I'm looking over here right now at the monitor. I'm looking at the monitor versus looking up here. And so it's something we have to consciously try to do. Now, as I like to say, uh, remember what our mamas told us. They said, when you're talking to someone, you look them in the eye. And our mamas were right. But often mamas didn't know about Zoom and how a Zoom webcam is going to be a little bit different. So there's ways that we go into that. And matter of fact, one of the things that we've done, we put together a master class to show people how to do some of these things. We go into it, but let me give you a sneak peek right here, what we can do. You look into there, and sometimes we find if you take a little card, like a, just a white cardboard 
card or a white uh, card like this and cut out a hole there in the middle, right where the webcam would be, and you put that over it, then you can put a picture or a name of someone you love right next to it, and that lets you know, okay, look into that webcam. I got that idea from my partner, Gina Carr, who does a lot with video also. She's joining us today. I'm glad that she can be here uh, to monitor what we're doing on this. But using that type of technique can help you. So make, it, make a point that you are going to look into there, make sure the webcams are positioned properly so that that way people see you and they feel, well, that human connection. You'll notice we're using that a lot. In dentisting, most important that you have that human connection tying in with them. Here's another point, point number three. They don't have good lighting. Lighting is important. You've got to make sure of that. And sometimes that takes a little bit of a, a trick. I'm going to give you some uh, specifics, really important things. So get your uh, pencil and paper, your pen and paper, or note-taking device of choice ready to go. We're going to talk to you about some good things you can do on that. And they don't have good sound. Sound is most important. Because if people can't hear you, they check out. They're going to check out. But for instance, let me do something real dramatic here. Yeah, I'm coming back here. I'm farther away right now. If you notice a reduction in quality, you can't hear me as well. If I maintain a sound like this, that's not going to be good versus when I'm right here. Because look what I'm doing. I'm going to show you behind the scenes. This is the webcam. Those at Dental Nachos know I've been using this a lot. This is called a Yeti microphone. Whatever microphone you get, I encourage you to use an external microphone. It will enhance the quality of your video enormously when you're doing it. And so using that here, like the screen a little bit bigger on this, using a webcam uh, is good. Using an audio right there. By the way, notice how I position that just right below so you can't see it. It's right there. Other times I like to put it right there so you do see it. It's like, okay, we are using a microphone. But uh, make it a point that you're going to get and use an external microphone. Those are some steps that can really help you a lot when you're doing it. And also, they don't have a good setup. That's another mistake that people will make. When they have that a setup, it won't be there. And what that means is the way that you're dressed, the way that you look. You want to make sure that you come across in a professional way. That doesn't mean you always have to dress up. No, sometimes you purposely want to be casual. Many times I'll do videos and I won't be wearing a blazer or a collar shirt like this, right, like I am right now. Other times, hey, it's just a t-shirt. But it just depends on what you want to do. That's why we start with number one. Have a strategy. What is it that you're trying to accomplish? What is the message you want to get across to people? Do that. So here, let me give you some things that will be good. Now that we've said what they're doing, the mistakes, here's how you can look great on video. Use good audio. Make sure you get that external. And by the way, good way to do it is like we did this morning. We did a check. How's our audio coming through? Way before we started it. We we're starting at 10 today. So we were there early checking, making sure it's okay, and making some adjustments, I would encourage you to do that. If you've got only you there and you need that feedback, you can get feedback on Zoom by checking. You click on that little carrot. It's down there right next to the microphone and click on testing audio, T test audio or check it out. And you can do that and then you can click a recording and listen to yourself again. Another really good way though is if you have others that are going to join you, ask them. Our team at Dental Nachos is superb, wonderful people that help on that to say, oh, that sounds a little high or a little over-modulating there. No, I can't quite hear you as well or something sounds funny. And that way we all win when we have better audio. Get the lighting right. There are certain things you got to tweak with that. You got to adjust, try this. What is it like here? What's it like there? And that's where having a good team, someone to help you out on that. That's one of the things that we're planning to do in the master class. We're going to be talking about how to adjust your lighting so that it's just right. Where do you put it? What kind of lighting do you get, et cetera? Watch your background. Got to make sure it's okay behind you. Like for me right now, this is my real background. I'm in here in my study. Got my books there, and I've got some things around there, the flags from different countries where I've been, where I had a particularly good time. It's kind of a brand that I have used, uh, but that's there. But I want to make sure that background looks good. I remember when I was with Skype, I, I tell you this, the folks at Dental Lachos know this. When I was with Skype, I uh, would do a lot of interviews with different people, a lot about technology and what's a new tool we're using with Skype, what's this. Many of the people, most of them were guys that were really techy and they knew their technology real well, but they need a little extra help on how to present. I remember so many times we get ready to do the interview. The audio was good. We tested that. We're checking the connections. We're doing all the technical things and we're almost ready to do it. And I go, um, <clears throat> uh, Charlie, 
that, do you want the whole world seeing that picture that's right there over your shoulder? I don't think you look and go, oh no, we got to move that. So you got to check for those things. Make sure that you're checking your background. And by the way, here's a quick uh, trick. What you can do in Zoom, you can record yourself. So I recommend that if you're doing a video and it's just you, you have no feedback, but even if you do, it's a good idea to do this. Do a quick recording. Record it to your computer. When you record it to your computer, then you can go back just for like 30 to 60 seconds. That's it. Then you can look at what's going on and you can see what's there, what's available, and uh, make sure that it's uh, go looking good when you do it. So those kind of things can help you a lot. That will help you enormously when you do it. Watch that background and check it to make sure it's good. Also, here's an important one. It sounds like it's just a, a given, but yeah, when you smile, take three nice deep breaths. You relax and you come across better. It is normal to be a little bit on edge when you're doing video. Hey, I know that's important. I work with a lot of professional speakers, being a professional speaker myself and seeing them. And we all have a little bit of that uh, nervousness, a little bit of the anxiety that comes in, no matter how often we've done it. And that's okay. What you want to do is not try to eliminate it. It's there. But you want to channel it in the right direction. Ken Futch is a member of the Speaker Hall of Fame, and he talks to us about having those butterflies in your stomach. You're not going to get rid of them, but you can make them fly in formation. And so what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're under control, breathing deeply, relaxing, thinking pleasant thoughts before you go on can really help your video just like it would with any kind of presentation. And then your mental state. Here's what I want you to do. Think of helping others. Often we become nervous when we're thinking about ourselves. Thinking, oh, gee, did I do right? Did I comb my hair right? I worry about that one a lot. Yeah, oh, did I call by air ride? Did I do this? Is this right? Oh no, they're thinking about this, all those kind of things. What you want to do is you want to make sure that what you're doing is you're helping them. Take that attitude of what can I do that's going to help them even more? What can I do that's going to help these people solve their pain? Now you're getting out of your head and you're getting into helping them. That's what true professionals do and how you can make it work for you. Well, here's something that I want to talk about. We're going to give you a place where you can get some resources. This is a place where I have a lot of affiliate links, but a lot of good information. Write that down. This is where I update information on microphones, on lighting, on other tools that I find particularly helpful. Go to terrybrock.com slash resources. And you can go there. You can look around, see what's available. And by the way, if you get that from there and you have a question about it, and you say, Terry, I'm wondering about this or that, and you want to go I'm all through there, by all means, drop me a note. You'll see how to do that on my website. It's terry at terrybrock.com is my email, and you can drop me a note there. Uh, if you've got a question, I want to be here to help you. And by the way, for me, that helps also because, yes, I want to help others. I like doing that, but also I'm getting real-world feedback. I'm finding out what real people are asking about and where there's certain issues and where there's certain challenges that are there. So this is what it'll look like when you get there. You'll see uh, Terry's uh, recommended resources, a lot of different tools that are there, and uh, see what's there for uh, outfitting your office and putting it together. So what is the most important part of video? Well, like I've said before, audio. At Dental Nachos, we know that because I, uh, they all, Terry, say that all again. Yeah, it is true. And there's a lot you can do. I want to give you a few things that can help. You definitely want, first of all, an external microphone. Make sure that you're using that because your sound difference, your sound quality is going to be considerably better with that microphone uh, that's external. And there are many options out there. There's no one perfect microphone to get. I'm using the Yeti that I like. It's from uh, Blue Microphones, who's owned by Logitech. And now the Yeti Nano is one that uh, is out. It's really good. You'll see that in that uh, graphic right here. We have the larger microphone and the smaller one. That smaller one is the Yeti Nano, a very good mic for getting good quality. It sits there on the desktop, but when we start traveling again, eventually we will, you could also carry that one with you versus the Yeti that I'm using right now. I leave this one in the, at home. It's a little bit heavy and I wouldn't want to carry it. A nice lavalier mic is good to give you some flexibility as well. And using the internal microphone on the computer, I don't recommend that as much. Usually it can uh, sound not as good. Also, sometimes you get echoes. And so just stay away from that. You'll do better. And then for video, here's a few tips and pointers that can help you as well. The camera on your smartphone can be really good. I am really impressed and blown away with the quality of some of the more recent cameras that are out there. And by the way, Samsung and Apple 
have announced some really good cameras. I think some others as well. Google has their new Pixel. There's some good uh, cameras that are coming out that are very, very good. An external webcam is nice. I'm using one right now called the Logitech Brio. I also have one called the Logitech C920. And I use this for different things. One of the things you can do is you can use not one, but two cameras. And notice what I just did here. I jumped over using a different uh, camera and that's the C920. It gives me the ability then to uh, adjust it and uh, look at it from a different angle. It's something you can do if you want to. And then I'm using my iPad over here as yet another camera coming in so that I can move those around and then add me to that while I'm working with it. So I can see a lot of those uh, capabilities are there. But your smartphone is one you'll want to look into. I'm using an iPhone 11 and a Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. I've found both of them to be exceptionally good. So you might want to consider yours. That office visit, that office tour we were talking about, that's something you might want to look into. If you have a more recent iPhone or a more recent Android device that's, uh, that you like, try a video with that. Get maybe an external microphone so that it comes out better or use your earbuds, use your headset if you want so you get much better quality of audio. And you can produce some really good audio and video slides that way. For lighting, natural light is very good when you can get it and when it's there. But the best times of day to do that are early morning before sunrise and in the evening in dusk, right before, uh, right, uh, be just before sunset or right after sunset, that's good. The natural light is good, but sometimes we'll use halogen lights or ring lights. I've got something like that that I'm holding there in my hand in the picture, you see, and then small portable lights that are available. One that I particularly like right now is the Viltrox L132T. This is one I'm using right now, matter of fact. Here, let me get back over here. I'm using it right now. From over here, it's coming at it. And this is what it looks like. Matter of fact, here is, let me come back over to this. You'll see that uh, this is available. I'm not uh, uh, necessarily promoting this, although I do have the affiliate link over there if you want it. But this is what I've got. It's only $45, $46, figure $50. And it is a wonderful little portable light that can be on a tripod. Conf By the way, one thing you want to confirm, make sure you got batteries or electrical cord with it. I say that because they don't include it. They should. And that's why a lot of people have stepped up. And I think on this particular unit, they do. But it gives you the ability to adjust your light. It gives you the ability to carry one or two of those. I've got two of them. So when we're back on the road, we can move around. And I got this screenshot from Amazon just the other day. So I would uh, expect that the price is pretty reasonably close on that. And then I want you to step back and think. I want you to step back and think, what if? What if in all of this that we're talking about with video, you could get video answers that you need to help your practice and in other areas? Also, what if you could get the exact step-by-step -step procedures you need to make video work and make it do it immediately? What if you could get that? And what if you could do it quickly at an unbelievably reasonable offer? Well, you can through Dental Nachos. One of the things that we have put together is we want to help you on this. We've got a new masterclass, the class I was telling you about, using video in dental practice and in other businesses. For instance, uh, we use this often and it's applicable to those who are doing financial planning, those who are doing manufacturing, retail, those who are in professional services like legal services. All of these principles work and we go over those in the class so you get a chance to see it with easy step-by-step -step process to get moving in the right direction immediately done this uh, hundreds of times and so now we want to make sure that we do it right and do it in the way that's going to help you most. Carefully implementing these steps safely and comfortably. So here's what we're going to do in this master class. It's not just about theory. It's about actually doing it and you're going to get help and instruction. You'll be able to get it and be able to take uh, part of and be in this big wave of video. This is your chance. This is your chance to learn and to get that kind of information. Here's what you're going to get hot updated information right up to the moment of what's working and what doesn't work. For instance, Zoom 5.2 is the new version. We'll be talking about that and showing you exactly step-by-step step how to do that and how to use it. You'll get a checklist of video equipment you need. You'll know exactly what to do and how to get it. If you need to supplement something, you might have some already, we do an inventory of that and then give you recommendations on what's next and what would be even better for you. Also, instructions on how to implement it right now. Again, not just a bunch of theory, actual action that you could execute on. And regular video meetings over the next few weeks 
We're going to get you up to speed quickly and comfortably with regular meetings and then regular sessions where you're going to be able to actually do video and get feedback on that as well. You're going to get my personal attention, advice, and action steps that are available and help with my no dumb questions practice. That's the way I like to do it. No dumb questions at all. And help you look great on camera and overcome any challenges you faced before. This is the time for you. You've wanted to do things with video. You've wanted to get out there. Now it's available. You're going to be able to do it. You're going to get personal access to me for questions through a Facebook group that we just set up. It's available and you're going to be able to get 24-7 help at that Facebook group. Guidance as you produce your videos and targeted videos to use over and over. Think about it. You're going to be able to get a video that you would create that you can use over and over on your website and you'll get refinements, you'll get tweaks on it so that it is exactly what you want and you'll have that to do. Something that could cost thousands and thousands of dollars, you're going to get it for a lot less. Many others have paid dearly to get this kind of information and you're going to get it here through Dental Nachos in a step-by-step -step checklist to do video right. So you're going to get this, a workshop, four weeks of training that will be worth $2,500. This is what it is, but you don't have to worry about paying that. You're also going to get a private Facebook group, and we value these at $300 to get that. Equipment to make your video sparkle, so you'll know exactly what to do, a $200 value there. And how to be confident and look great on video, at least $200 there. You'll get a video on how to do it that you can then share with others as well for a total of $3,200. But the answers to your questions, that's really priceless. However, because it's with Dental Nachos, you're not going to have to pay $3,200. We're making a special offer today because you are associated through Dental Nachos, and it's going to be to also help the dental community. Right now, let's get real. The dental community is going through a lot, and using video the right way can help, can help enormously. We're here to help you. So we're going to take this, which would be $3,200, and we're going to make it available for you. And here's another thing I'm going to do. The first five people to sign up will get a private coaching session with me and no additional charge. That's going to be worth $500. We rent that and do that regularly with people around the world. But that's only for the first five. We can't do it with everyone. So this is what you're getting. You're getting something really with that extra $500, $3,700 of value that you're going to get. So you think, okay, well, what's my investment on this thing, Terry? Well, $1,700 would be a bargain getting that, it's going to there, but we're not going to do it for $1,700. Not for you. It could be $1,200. We say, okay, we'll drop that. No, nope, we're not going to do it for that either. We sharpened our pencils. We tried to figure out, okay, not $1,200. What are we going to do? We're going to do it. I know this is ridiculously low, but I want to do it for you. $497. $497, you'll do that because we know it. Now, it's going to go fast and we can only allow so many in because we'll be given a lot of attention there. We're going to call it the Easy Video for Dentisting Humans Masterclass. You're going to learn about video. You're going to be able to start putting it together and making that happen. And we want to make this something for you that is going to help. And matter of fact, I know that's a ridiculously low price, but that's all right. We want to do that. We want to help out. And I'm going to do something else. Yes, 497 is very low, but I'm going to make it even better. You can bring your buddy for free. And I put buddy in quotes. That means it might be an assistant there at your office. It might be a friend. It might be whoever, whatever other human being you want. One price for the two of you, 497. You'll be able to get this. So two people getting trained on that with really good roll up your sleeves, get the video produced, not just a bunch of theory, but it's going to actually be there for you. That's what it is. And it's all part of that. What we're doing today here, the power to connect with people and patients during that pandemic. And here's how you do it. You can get this course. All the information is there for you to sign up. You can easily put in the information that you need, process it, and get ready to go with it. By the way, we're starting this next week. And we're going to close it down very soon. So we need to have you in there now to get you up and running, working with it. We're going to make sure that you are happy. And we are guaranteeing that you will be happy with that and doing it. So it's the uh, place you want to go. It's bit.ly slash all in lowercase dentisting. Using that term there from Dr. Paul that he's given us. So I, I recommend, look, take a look at that. Get over there to dentisting and see it. And what I want to do now is open this up for any questions or comments. And uh, Dr. Paul, before we open it up for everyone else with comments or questions, any observations or thoughts or questions that you might have? 
So that was phenomenal, as, I, as always, Terry. But uh, I, I feel my job is to kindly annoy dentists into good decisions, kindly annoy people into good decisions. We even had an attorney join us here who I know well. And I want to kindly annoy people to say that I've done private coaching with Terry. I've done these video trainings, Terry. This will have an impact on you. Not only will you make more money, but you'll be happier. I want to show you what you can learn, what I've learned. So I've made hundreds of videos, but let me show you about, I say the story is the star, okay? Not the dentist, not the patient, not the team, it's the story. So let me show you this story, this one video that I've made and is done. It's already been viewed 672 times. It could be viewed 60,000 times. Okay, I want to just make sure that I have my uh, share computer sound. So yep. this 71 second video can help so many patients move forward. So what happens is when I'm 42 years old and people think I have good teeth, I cannot relate to the patient. So I say, hey, look at this patient who's in your category. Well, this is me sharing with you that ingesting $497 in your video training is a true nacho brainer. What you're going to say is, I'm glad I did it. I should have done it sooner because that's what these patients say when I do these cases. And I have total confidence that I am helping the patient more than they're helping me. I totally respect the money that they pay us, but we change their lives. So let's just watch this 71 second video. And for you, if you're a dentist, this will really resonate. But let's just say you're a person. I don't know if we have any pets watching out there, but let's just say you're a person. This will resonate because this story is of a person who had chewing problems. His teeth had come to the end of the line and we moved him forward to replace his teeth. Let's see what he thinks of it. Okay, dancing friends, it's Paul, Dr. Nacho, and we have some interesting patient bibs. Oh, look at this. Maybe you guys want some of these bibs like this. So when you finish a big case, this is one of our, our Best patience, Bob, even though he is, what's your favorite football team? Patriots. The Patriots. It's rough having him as a patient, but he is a great guy. So he here had a case where he has put a lot of time and effort into his teeth, but it was time for these teeth to retire. So we decided uh, different plans, talked with him on many of our treatment plans and options, and we went with an implant overdenture. And today we have a U-shaped implant overdenture. We're going to take a look at this here. So Bob, bite down and smile for us. Awesome. Look awesome. Now pop them out for us to show us how they work. Good, so they snap into position there. There are the snaps inside of here. I'll just take a look there, there are the snaps there. And our mentee, our baby age dentist, Dr. On, did an awesome job. Do you have a fun time doing this, Dr. Awesome. On? Yeah. I'm Bob, how do you like your new teeth? I like them, I love them. All right, nice, pop those back in. And most important question when someone gets this is what is the first thing that you wanna eat looking forward to eating? Pistachios. Pistachios, okay, go easy. There, there could be like little rocks pistachios. So go easy, my life a pizza or nacho. That's my dream. <laughs> All right, awesome, Bob. Great job, guys. That's great. So that's the story there. And I will tell you, I was very lucky to be introduced to Terry by a special person, Aldana Ambler. It's changed my life in the best way. The people who are watching here for the nacho team love their Terry time. So if you're a dentist, if you're a practice, in, in a practice, Take the time to invest in yourself. No one regrets investing more in themselves at an early age or stage in their career. There's always the time to do this. We don't know what's gonna happen next with this wacky pandemic. So we may be making videos on treatment plan presentation, what to do next, how insurance works. So I encourage you, kindly annoy, annoy you to JFO, just find out, keep up the momentum and do this for yourself. You will not regret it. Uh, Thank you, Paul. That's very important. I love the way that you shoot the, those videos. They're real. That's a real person, Bob. He's doing it. And that's what video is all about. Think about it. And those of you watching this, this is a time that is unprecedented. We've said that many times. We do know this. Video is important now. And I'm going to go out on a limb here and say it's going to be even more important in the future. We're going to use it a lot. Get the tools. Get the right equipment. And more than that, learn how to present what to do, what not to do, that's gonna set you apart from the competition. We put this together to help out the dental community and it's available. Again, what you'll wanna do is go over to uh, this place here where you'll see uh, bit.ly slash dentisting, uh, Dr. Paul's word, and you'll find out about all you need to know there. The easy video for dentisting humans masterclass and it's something that's going to help you there. What I wanna to share today is a special person on this video who was one of my close friends, Dr. Robert Pick, who we have to connect you with because when he came to speak in Philadelphia, and this goes to, if you say 
you know, an old dog can teach a new dog uh, tricks. That's not fair to our age, but he's a seasoned age dentist. I'm a medium age dentist. He flew into Philadelphia. He landed. I look at my phone and I say, someone sent me a video. Why is this guy sending me a video? And now Bob sends these videos and I get it because he says video is 1200 times more engaging. So he said, hey, Paul, I landed in Philadelphia. Can't wait to speak to you. So when I, while I thought that was not so nuts originally, now I see Bob's uh, masterful use of video as a dentist in his purple cow oil ways. So he's a leader out there who's been doing, who's been dentisting for over, probably as long as I've been alive, uh, 42 years, and just a great person who encourages all of us to do this. So he's just a great role model for you guys out there. Uh, Excellent. So uh, we, uh, I think, Terry, you've covered everything that, you know, gets people started here. Uh, we'll get you, we give your information and terrybrock.com. If people, if people want to reach out to you with a personal question, what's the way, best way for them to do that? Real simple way would be uh, email. It's terry at terrybrock.com. And that's spelled T-E-R-R-Y. And Brock is spelled the right way, B-R-O-C-K. So terry at terrybrock.com. And I uh, welcome those emails and any questions that you have. As a matter of fact, let me extend this as well. If after you watch this, you think, oh, I wish I would have asked about da da da, -da send me an email and ask that. You say, hey, I joined you there for the Dental Nachos program that you did on video, and I got a quick question about whatever it is. By all means, do it. That email comes directly to me. I'll see it, and I'll be happy to help out those in the community. Awesome, Terry. Well, thanks so much for your time. Dental Nachos audience, take advantage of Terry's awesome training. He's an amazing person to work with. We appreciate you sharing with us here on Dental Nachos and getting us started with how to use video to connect with patients and people during a pandemic and especially after this pandemic ends. So thanks so much, Terry. Paul, thank you. Always good to be with you.